And there we are. The first series I have ever made to go up to 100 episodes. I don't know whether to laugh or cry, but here we are, back in Wuppo. I am very excited to get back into this game though, for all of the new changes. They all sound interesting and I want to see what the game is all about. And in between, I was, for one thing, checking in the options menu, I checked my old series to check like, oh, did I have all of the sound sliders maxed out? I don't remember having that. I swear I like toned them down or something. There weren't audio sliders. That was probably something I complained about. There were no audio sliders whatsoever in the game before. And that was kind of a problem for sure. So they just added sound sliders and that's fantastic. That is something I think every game should have and there's no real excuse not to have it. So I'm very glad they added sound sliders. That said, I don't know if I need to change anything here. I can't remember if there was anything in particular that I was like, oh man, I wish this was not as loud because it's drowning out everything else. Can't remember, but I guess I'll see when I record these episodes and edit them and might tweak it as we go. And also, I am no longer scared of the options menu, the visual options menu, because all of this, seemingly, I can apply without fucking up my recording. It doesn't actually, like, refresh the, the screen or the monitor, that's great. So we can actually check out like, oh, no smoothing. And I mean, obviously if I do like window mode, it probably would update, but whatever, that's fine. We can turn off shadows and turn all of this off. Why not? We can change the contrast and all that. So max contrast is just like really bright, not really contrast in that sense. And then here, really dark, kind of a strange one. Maybe this is more gamma than the, uh, Contrast? I don't know. Wait, I think just the default is probably the best here. I'll just leave it at that. But yeah, you can see now the edges are very sharp. It's kind of a pixelated game now and like some people might prefer to play the game like this. And then uh, I don't know what the like motion smoothing even means. Can I notice anything if I now go back in and smooth everything? And then shadows, turn everything on again, apply. I mean, yeah, I can notice that the lines are smoother, but I don't really notice much else. Huh. I don't know, maybe for, for fun I should play with only motion smoothed and then have the pixelated art. But then again, I kind of want to see it how it's sort of meant to be, I guess, and I would imagine the smoothing is... I don't know. No idea, actually. But let's let's keep it on everything for now. Dear friends, the Ella sweater has uh, moved away because of the annoying noise. Find the Ella sweater. And here we get some coins. Some smirt, I should say. Gotta get back in my Wuppo lingo. Reminder, I need a gum gum gun to break the yellow blocks. The Alice Wetter. Was that here before? I don't remember that. Here's the Alice Wetter's house. Oh, a visitor? He must have accidentally fallen down the Wum house. I'm the Alice Wetter. I know everything. Watch a film strip. I just want to go home. Do you want to miss an opportunity to gain wisdom? Okay. <laughs> He's really upset about it. I don't remember this at all. I, I'm gonna not remember what has been added and what hasn't been added. You've never heard of film strips? Congratulations. Press tab. Use A and D. Get the film strip. Well done. Throw it in here. Oh my. I'm pretty sure none of this has changed, so I'm just gonna skip through most of it. Weird looking creatures called lions. Thank you. Got the gum gum gun now. This time, open up your inventory. Easy, right? 
Holding the left mouse button. Gum gum shower. Yeah, there we are. Got the old gum gum gun. I need a match. Thank you. Uh, don't really need to talk about any of this. I'm pretty sure none of this has, like, anything... How to get out of here. Just jump into the blubber and swim your way up. The blubber? I know it's not very practical, but I just couldn't stand that noisy bird any longer. This is the only way to hide from it without getting followed. Yeah, that might be... new as well. So, here, I don't want to... Oh wait, that's that's the uh, weird fish again. But yeah, let's not wake up the fish. Let's do that in the uh, like secret area instead. I wonder why that happens. Is it just like a 50% chance or or what? And Dank Snabble is red this time in the menu. Wah! Oh yeah, Dank Snabble has a different uh, audio, different voice. I guess you can say. So, can you read signs? That's... this sounds weird, like, unfamiliar. Yes, I can. Woohoo! Co-op unlocked. You can access it via the menu. Great! Two players. Press a Kira button. Oh. I see. No. One player. Well, that's... that's cool that you can do that. Now let's, uh... Oh! Yeah, th wait, I thought I disabled that option. Gameplay. Oh, I didn't. Okay, I don't want that to be a thing. I would prefer to just bind stuff on my own. But I believe 3 was what I used for Dank Snabble, so I'll just do that. Is this... This song has also changed a little bit, I think. I guess everything has just been, like, touched up. One sec. Door is blocked. It's okay. I should have said, what do we do? Oh, he says it anyway. Yep. Underground tunnel. Good luck. I hope I'll, I'll be able to get the new weapon early. I believe the new shop, the uh, DLC shop, is like near the station? Sort of between the Wum House and the station or something like that? Maybe. So let's use the match, which I could have just used with a hotkey, but whatever. So now, even though I don't say assign items, this should still be number two because I haven't bound anything else to number two. It is! That's a very, very nice change. I'm happy that's been added. And yeah, I'll probably do a 100% as well, getting all the film strips and happiness, I would imagine. I'll try and like re-experience all of this game. Oh, this is very different, right? I don't remember this at all? Huh. Ah! Wait, he doesn't say anything when you go here, right? No. And left here, I don't think is anything. There's a film strip I can get. Oh, shit! I thought I could stand there. There we go. And here... Oh yeah, I can go this way, but I think we should go and fight Freddy Fish first, and get the, the bucket and stuff. Oh, you can shoot these. Huh. I don't even remember that. 
Warning, the sinkhole ahead. Let's kill the fish first. Hello. Yep, it's the weird fish. Let's see if I remember all of the boss strats. And yeah, some of them have changed, so who knows? Maybe it'll be a bit different. Ooh, close one. Ow. No, uh, no damage. But that's fine. What in the world was that? That thing just looked straight up ridiculous, like it doesn't even belong here. Wah. Is that, like, a reference or something? Like, maybe... I, I don't know if, uh, Knuist and Persic, or whatever they're called, uh, have done any... made any other games? Maybe it's a reference to some older thing or something? And that's why it's only, like every once in a while. And yeah, we have this whole thing. Definitely looks different, though. Are you out of your mind? Okay. Like, the effects are very different. The fog and the sort of bloominess, almost, to some of the things, I think, is different. I don't know what rim light really means, but maybe that's something. Ah! Go ahead and take it. You're a kind one. And there we get the happiness. So wait, can I... If I go and do gameplay and controls and then keyboard bindings, I have items. I could actually bind this to something else, like say... Like, the E key and the Q key aren't being used. I feel like that might be nice to use. Like, E for items? And then... It's a shame you can't have multiple bindings, though. That is one thing I would have liked. If you could have, like, a primary and secondary binding. Because then you could have, like, jump on space and W. That would have been kind of nice. And I guess I'll just put film strips on Q. Progress window... Probably don't really need that, but let's put it on R, I suppose. Why not? This should be fine. Yeah, I think that's good. I'll get used to that. I can't remember. Were those options a thing back in the day? And could you rebind them, if so? Because, yeah, just opening the menu with E is much nicer. And then film strips and then progress instead of pressing tab and then scrolling through. I think I'm going to like that a lot more. Also, in uh, boss fights, pressing tab, I don't think pauses the game, but pressing E would pause the game. Or, huh. Yeah, it doesn't do it here. Is it only in boss fights that it pauses? Interesting. Well, let's uh, equip this thing, I suppose. Hello. Oh, it's you. Yeah, the fog is very noticeable. So now we can go this way and get over to the blind village. Also, was there something down here? Yeah, there's this part, which isn't anything, but it really feels like it should be. It sort of looks like it's supposed to be something, and I know I've said that every single time I've been here. Oh, wait, is, yeah, this screen is also completely different. Huh. You can't, like, fall down. I'm pretty sure you could fall down before. No? Man, it's gonna be hard to, like, remember... Oh, shit. Remember everything that's different. There we go. This is also different. My god. There we go. Wait, no. I don't want to do that. Yeah. I want to hold off on that.
there. Now we can break these. I like this song. I don't know how much it's changed, but sounds very good right now. And we finally get the uh, ice cream cone. To visit Dreckel's shop. And... Wait, wasn't there... I actually... I guess I want to kill dudes, right? Because I want to fight the, uh... The village leader. But... Maybe I should just check... What happens when you don't do it right away? Or, like, first? Because I can't quite remember. And I think you have to kill, like... Six or something, maybe more. So we got this guy. Oh, damn it. And how was it you did it? I just chewed him? Hey! Don't do that, you stole my TV! And I get some smirt. That's nice. Yeah, this zoom is kind of weird, honestly. I'm not sure I like it. I don't remember if it was a thing, like, in this scenario, when you're talking to vendors and stuff. I can sell, but... Yeah, I could sell this, but it's too smart, so never mind. And was there something I wanted to buy? I can get this normally. A clock isn't too bad to have, but I'm pretty sure I can get all of this... ...later on. And I still don't know what the beautifully crafted garland does. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. I Didn't I test it and, like, it wasn't even blocking hits that do 35 damage or more? Like, I just couldn't find what it actually did. No idea. But yeah, here we go. Talking to the village elder. Hello, you. I not seen you before. You want to help us? No. Oh, okay. And he just leaves. So I don't want to do that. I want to load the save file. Uh, autosave? Ah, no, that's right there. So, uh, fuck it. And then let's go on a killing spree. Oh, this is different too. Right? Or wait, no, not this screen. Got some smirt. Yeah, this is the same. Oh, and now we start fighting. There, got the shortcut unlocked. Wait, wasn't there something where if I kill them now, I'll have to, like, make up with them before I can get the candle or something? Which is after the Blafknoft fight? Something like that. I can't quite remember. This place seems important. Pillars are supposed to carry items. Oh, get this. Okay, it's just a heal. And we got this guy. The hardest boss in the game. I will miss my piece of splink. How are you doing? You are so fast.
Guess I'll kill some more just to be safe. So wait, what do I need? Yeah, I can actually do it. Wait, I can do it now. That's weird. You don't even have to go to the elder? I thought you had to. Yeah, you can just do it, but that's strange. I thought you had to go by the elder first and then you could do that. Well, I do want to fight him to see the new attack and all that, so let's just, ow, get going with that. All right, let's see, is that enough? You killed 20, my people, you must pay. Ranged attack? Yep. Oh, there he goes. I see. It's more, like, complicated than I expected, honestly. Also, you can you can kill him by hitting his adds now. I don't think that was the case before. Wait, i just protecting my people. Go on. I want to be his friend. You give shiny round stones for every every blind you kill. 22 shiny stones and we friends. Oh, I forgot that that was a thing. Uh, I shouldn't have killed so many. Fine. Whatever. I kind of have to do it to get the candle and all that. We friends now. Sure. Yeah, that's that's a problem. But now we can get some stuff. I have candle. Yep. And we need a film strip as well. Can't I kill them now anyway? Might get some smirt back. Yep, there's some smirt. Great, I'm earning some of it back. Oh, wait, don't want to hit them. Friend, film strip. Great. There we go, now that's done. And that's everything. Alright, um... Should I try and do uh, the next boss fight? Quickly before we end it. Sure. It doesn't take that long. Oh, and it even says like film strip here. I didn't see that before. Or maybe that's new. Hmm. Maybe it's just an indication that there will be one later on. Dank Snavel doesn't talk during this, right? Like, if I bring him out? If I just do it, like, now? No. Still remember most of the stuff. We'll see how much is actually different later. But I did do a whole lot of boss run and many, many runs, so... I hope I can remember the majority of the strats and all that. He should be dead now. And he didn't even go into, like, Super Saiyan mode. Huh. Yeah, strange. Wow. Weird experience.
And that opens up. And when we go down here... Ooh, this looks very, like, moody. That's an odd-looking tablet. I have no idea. And I'll just leave it off here for today. So, thanks for watching. Next time, Underground Tunnel, the Bloss Bucket, the uh, Jellyfish Secret, and probably the Splink Hacker Boss thing. And after that, we might get up near the uh, DLC shop. We'll see. And possibly the quiz show as well. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.